Hello everyone, VT Arch here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. Left to Die, Night to Die scenario uh, with Hunter. This is episode 2. All those who listen to the end of episode 1 knows how many waves we went through. Well, they have a good hint. Actually, it's a good hint. It's dead on accurate. Whew. But we'll let the people who watch the second one go to the end to see. Off we go. We just finished 15 waves. Now, as I said before, I was going to try to do some little... Uh-oh, I got some speed down the one. Get back up to two. Here they come. Here they come. Choker. Choker's grabbing. Here comes the next stank. Get, get the workers down here. Blow them up. No kills for Mr. Stank. Next, we're going to have Worm coming in soon. Seems like you get a Stank and a Worm per wave now. This is wave 16. They're really sending in the bad dudes now. Worm. That's when we got our things hustling together. There it is right there. 6,000 worm. Launched one set. Launches two sets. Nobody gets hurt. Well, they got a little wounded, but they get fixed quickly. I start pumping out vultures for that purpose later on. No gas involved. Once I run out of gas, it's all over. Vultures have a longer range, but they only hit the target that's in front of them. First tank to this side. First one to this opening. He's all ready. Tanks are ready. A 9,000 stank. That did not get a kill. That's impressive. That's wave 17. Seems like it starts out with a stank and ends with a worm. They're all 3-3. Everything's 3-3 coming at us. See how effective these tanks are over here? It's pretty good. None of the little guys get to us. I got one guy on that. Here comes the worm. 6,500 worm. Takes no prisoners and only launches one. Blue Flame puts the tanks in the area. He warns me about my tanks again. I'm making more. They're right here. They didn't get out of the thing. They didn't even get to see what they were. Stank at the beginning of 18. Where is it? Oops, coming in from there. Here comes my hopper. See him chase the guy around? That's keeping him off this building. I try to do that until he gets killed, but I get killed myself because I ran into this wall and had to turn. But he doesn't do near as much damage. A level 8 ring, uh, wave 18 now. It holds off, but it got more damage. Now, if the stank came in by himself, it probably wouldn't have had as much damage as if I didn't root him out of there. I'll show you the next time I do it, because these guys don't get anywhere near it. They give a little bit of damage. But the stank came in with them. The next worm's in play. 7,000 worm hardly does any damage. I'm gonna lose that bunker, maybe. Save the bunker. Spotters are giving us an issue here. He pings it. And he's got an issue there. I come over and I put up a couple of. Uh, he finally gets taken care of, but I, I put a, I put a uh, <clears throat> turret here and a turret here to help out with later. 19 starts with a stank, of course. 10, 11,000 stank. 
He gets one kill, maybe two. You got the bunker? See, I jumped down there and it slowed him down for just a second. I jumped back up there, but I can't get out of there. I'm stuck. Someone will kill me if I get out of there because I ain't got a way to heal. Turrets take care of the problem along with this bunker, you know, these spotters. And here comes the worm. Wave 19, every wave you get a stank and a worm. There's the worm right there. I mean, I can hide the bomb. I can hide these tanks all I want. If they land next to it, you can't do nothing. But guess what? It only get one launch. And level 19 is coming to level 20. Level 20 starts out with, yes, you guessed it. Or I was wrong. There's no stank. Well, big low. Well, that's why. Level 20, no stank. Oh, I take it back. Dang it. Here comes stank. 12,000. Now, this is the one I think. I'm going to see. Nope, it isn't the one I thought it was. We sent everybody over here, got extra things, and Take the stank out before the other people go in and go. Oh. Managed to keep the command center alive. Well, you saw the stank come in and you saw these bad guys come in following them up. Hoping to catch us. Like they saw the spotters follow up the stank over here. You got a worm coming in. A lot of infested, then a worm. There's the worm, now right amongst my tanks. How am I going to save the tank? Uh, SCVs are right there. 8,000 snack and got two launches. And that was wave 20. Still floating that. Here comes wave 21 stank. Now, here's an interesting thing. I think I got this guy to move around a little bit. Here comes my uh, guy right there. How, that's how much damage he's done to the CC already. I jump down there. And he shoot at him and he goes after him. And I get him back up on the hill. And we get that thing almost fixed. The guy dies. He gets one bounce on it. No kills for the stank. And that's when he noticed. That's what I was trying to do. Somebody better than that could do better than me. Believe me. I'm so slow. I think he understands now what I was trying to do. Look at all those infested. Nitus Worm in the center. 8,500 Nitus Worm. Got one launch. Two launches. Not going away near as fast, even with tanks shooting at it. Three launches. But you see, the blue flame's not only hitting the bad guys at us, it's hitting the worm behind it. The worm actually dies while we're shooting at everything else. I got mine on patrol to kill anything. He's probably, I don't know what he's, whether he's aiming right at the worm or not. He didn't like the fact that my SCVs were in the way. But I didn't like it either. But they gotta be there. They gotta fix things. Now here's the one I make my, this is the one I'm, I'm saying it might not be a good idea. Here he is. He's ready to get chased. He's already there. There's not an enemy outside to be found. Nothing. Put on every man's view. Wait a minute. I could be wrong. Nothing. They're a little bit here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing. Nothing there. All we gotta do is kill the stank. So I dance him around a little bit. He follows me. I take a lot of it. Mind you, this guy's a... Now he's way out there. Now let's put it back on the science facility. He's uh, 14,000, 9,000. He got him that far. Okay? Chasing him around. 
I chase him around again. Let him chase me again. He kills me. He got a kill. But look, he's half dead. He might have been all dead if I had just let him come into the tanks. But all this stuff's coming in behind him now. That means they're damaging it too. And not shoot as much as the tank as they are as everything else. I'm trying to fix it. And we lost our first command center. I don't know if having him chase me around is a good thing unless I get him to chase me like all the way around. But I'm not that good. You saw him, he got killed. He almost got killed. I jumped across here and I tried to do it again, he got killed. Maybe if I had a medic up here to heal him, I could have jumped down and jumped back up and down a couple of times. I don't know. Tell me, I, I guess with practice I'll get better. We gotta get rid of the stank. He ain't got much left to him. 32 points, he's dead. Now, I got my extra one and I'm floating it over there. But with all these bad guys coming in, guess what? It won't land. We gotta clean this hole out. And the nitus worm comes at the same time. That's eight, nine thousand nitus worm. He's trying to land his too. It's anything to block off the bad guys. <coughs> I finally got it down and we get rid of the nitus worm. Now that's the longest it took us to get rid of the nitus worm, and I lost half my fleet. Tell me to rebuild the uh, the tanks, I think I got I had Vespane I had 132, no I didn't have any Vespane, I don't know how much he had he had 1400, maybe I should ask him for 500, I don't know I didn't figure he had any more than I did you know so I'm now I start making uh, I made two tanks, that's right two so I did rebuild the tanks but I start making a uh, Vultures, because these need gas too. They need tanks too, but I start making vultures and marines. Where I wave 23, and guess what? Stank time already. So 16,000 stank. 15,000 stank. Gonna take out the bunker, get its kill. Probably get a marine too. Marines back up a little bit, smart dudes. See what, the less damage he did? He's almost done. And they sent in spotters behind this one. We take care of with the uh, missile turrets. And he saved his, his command center. They come in over here. They got rid of my bunk the bunker that was here. We don't got anybody up there. I guess we do. Fixing it. But they got rid of the bunker. And the turrets are coming. I mean, the turrets take care of him. But he lost the bunker. That would have been a key to me to move one of these tanks up, get some more. But yeah, I didn't. I couldn't even. I didn't even do it over here when they took out my bunker. I totally blanked it out. I mean, I saw it a couple of times. I didn't think, wow, move your tank forward. I didn't think of it. I could have put the tank forward. I could have put a turret here and a bunker there, and then had the uh, SCV stuck in the center to fix things. That was the plan. And then when I got to the point, I didn't do it. Of course, I don't know. I don't even remember what I'm looking at. What am I looking at? I'm moving my SCV somewhere. What, I got it in my view? No. See, I'm, I'm looking at someone else. I see it. Side of it. Here comes the next worm. Anyway. I don't know. I didn't do it. Should have. He's building another command center. I'm building another command center. Same time, a worm comes in. There it is. Lost my two tanks here again. I don't care where you put them. You can't hide them behind things. But it's a 9,000 tank. They got a worm. They got two launches. My forces are about dead. As far as the worm taking out forces. That's when I start making marines and then vultures. To do that. I ain't got no gas for medics. Take care of the chokers real quick. Round 24, and here comes Mr. Stank. Mr. Stank here wins because both of us, both of us, forgot to bring SCVs down here. These guys are stuck. These guys are stuck there. They can't move. That's why it takes a little longer to take that thing out, but not 
long enough. We send everything down to get rid of that thing. Finally get rid of it. He floats his other one and gets it down here. I said, oops, because uh, we got to build some stuff. I get that back up. I put my, I put a, two, uh, but then the worm comes. I ain't got nothing to kill this worm. My guys are dead. They got three of them left. <coughs> so guess what? They take out this command center. Spotters come in. They wiped out the hill. This one here is dead. I'm going to float it, I think. I pick it up, I think. I float this over here. And I float this one over over these uh, uh, <coughs> SCBs to fix it. But this is about the end of it. And that worm, it, that worm stays there. It keeps spurting out things. This is almost, that's gone, so I'm picking up, I pick up the barracks, and I pick up the factory, and I park them on this hill. Because I got a lot of money left. So wait a minute, I can't see wasting this money. I got 3,600. No Vespain, but 3,600. Spotter. Pick that one up. It's fixed now. This, this is still holding for a while, and he's still holding here for a while. I start pumping out vultures and marines on this hill. Let them kill it as much as they can kill. It'll last as long as they can last. I think if I had it set up ahead of time, I can't. There's no place to put one down and have a extension on it, or, or reactor, or tech lab. But I can build marines and have a turret in each corner, turret in each corner, and a ball of marines up here. It actually slowed him down a little bit. He slowed him down. He got rid of this crowd here. The worm is still there, though. And here comes the chokers. The chokers are going to do their job. The chokers do. I think the end of the game is really killed by chokers because uh, they can stretch so far and pull the SCBs and pull every little thing out. But here they come in again. Things up here blowing crap out of everything and blowing a crack out of everything over here. But down go the command centers. Letter 26. Here comes the next stank. They don't give us another worm if there's already one there. And if there's already a stank involved, unless it's uh, brutal or hard, they don't give us another stank. But I got this place getting crowded with uh, vultures. The Marines aren't coming out as fast as the vultures are. Can't believe that, but that's the way it is. Should have picked that up too. Well, now I got two command centers over here. He's got a factory. I got a factory and a barracks. And they're pumping out stuff. I'm gonna attack one of them. I try to get this one over the top of these guys to get some protection from them, but it didn't happen. So, should have picked up an SUV or two. Dropped it over here. I gotta remember that next time. This hill's almost done. There's wave 27. There is no stank. I don't know what happened to the stank. Maybe we got him. I don't know. I got the other ones glued down. Wave 27. Still pumping out Marines. What happens up here is the Hunterlings get them. Here come the Hunterlings. We get the first batch of Hunterlings. So they can't see us, but then the spotter comes over. And the underlings. And that's done. 
So we're waiting for his factory over here, which is done. And then over here, the nice worm is still there at 10,000. It's regaining strength. And we are dead. 120, 28 waves. We were victorious. I don't know what the record is. Don't care. 28 waves. Whoosh, we did a good job. We'll probably try again. I gotta get faster fingers because I think we could save a lot of points if we can get those Reapers to dance around more. Dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance. Look at this mess. Whoa, what a mess. Oh, I could have swore I saw those things there. Well, I know when I saw them there. I know exactly when I saw them there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back to the beginning. Before the map was going to be... Before the map turns into Night to Die, those are there. That's when I saw them. I knew I saw them. And the minute we choose Night to Die, they go away. Whew. Okay. VT Archer over and out. Click the like button. Leave a comment if you got any advice on how we might get to level to, 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 to wave 30. Any ideas at all? Any ideas at all? We would love to hear them. We're going to give it a go again. Although this weekend... I'm probably not going to be playing at all because we have. I got to take my son on a fishing trip down to Massachusetts on Saturday. I got to leave Friday morning, and I got my other son has a race on Sunday, so there probably won't be much playing this weekend. But I'll try to get both these videos out before the weekend. BT Archer, over and out. Thanks for watching.